Hey guys, Chrissy here. I wanted to share another keto friendly recipe with you. This is going to be Italian shredded chicken. Um, almost like chicken parm, but it's using shredded chicken. So first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 375. And in this casserole dish here I have, sorry for the shakiness, I have um, four cooked chicken breasts that I shredded up into pieces and just spread around the dish. And then you want to add sugar-free spaghetti sauce to the top of it. Sorry. It's hard to do with one hand. You need to get me a tripod or something. Then you just spread it over the top. Just cover all the chicken. Yeah, this is not easy with one hand. I apologize for the poor quality of this video. <laughs> Bear with me. We're getting there. All right, once you got that all spread around, you're going to just dump mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, whatever the cheese is of your choice, we're going to do mozzarella. One recipe I've seen, they put mozzarella and Parmesan shredded. Now it's, it's healthier to use the block so that you don't have all the additives in it, but yeah, your girl's lazy and don't want to sit there and grate some cheese. I already shredded all this chicken. I'm not going to stand around and grate, grate some cheese, too. So we're using the pre-shredded. Still, it's still good on keto. Let me see. It has... Focus, focus, focus. It has two grams of carbs. So, that's good, but anyway, get all this on here, spread it around, okay, well, I might as well use the whole bag, hang on. Okay, once you have all that done, you want to put your seasoning on. Um, anything that speaks Italian or however you want to season this, is it's your choice. I'm going to be using Italian and Creole. So we're going to have an Italian Creole dish. That's right. Italian Creole. You heard it. And don't forget that the chicken, when you, when you cook it to, um, so that you can shred it. I didn't season the water, so don't be afraid to add some a lot of seasoning here so we can soak down into the meat and to the thing and then I love this stuff we put this on just about everything it's uh, really good on shrimp I used to use Old Bay and now we use this so there you have it. That's it. Now you put it in the oven for at 375 for 30 minutes and then you will get a delicious dinner that obviously will feed a whole family. Um, that's all and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will come back and add a little clip at the end on the finished product. But real time, I need 30 minutes. Y'all's time, 3 seconds. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Okay, as promised, here it is. Nice and golden brown. Cut it just like you would like lasagna. Pair it with some broccoli and cauliflower, which is what we'll do. And you have yourself an amazing, keto-friendly chicken dinner. So, I'm going to cut this, get the plates ready, and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.